Yo, what is going on? So welcome back to my channel, Nerka12. So today, as you guys saw by the title, it is a, we are doing a skills catapult pitching machine review. Um, so I got the pitching machine yesterday, hit a couple buckets with it, and I'm going to do a review. And I'm going to show you, like, the pros and cons of it. So, this is the catapult. And yes, I am in my basement, but this is the catapult. Um, and it was $80, so a little bit on the pricey side for um, a baseball trainer, a trainer, but it, so what you do is it can hold eight, up to eight balls, regular size baseballs, practice balls, just regular size uh, balls that you're gonna hit. And you can adjust the height by um, the, the front leg here where you can like twist a knob and pull the thing out. And then you can also adjust the height by the thing back there. Um, you unscrew it and you push it up. Or actually, if you really wanted to make it higher, you push it down and then you screw the things back in. Um, you can hold eight regular size baseballs. So I'm gonna show you guys like the pros and cons so you load it up in this little um like loading system down here and then you hit the on button here you have to plug it in so i'm running an extension cord you have to plug it in um and then you hit the on button and then it will go um one thing if all if it comes to this there sometimes the ball get ball gets stuck and it doesn't actually roll down the system but I don't know if that's it only happens a few times so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be standing back here it, it that's the catapults loud so uh, if you can't hear me but I'm I'm just gonna let it rip hit eight and then I'll like show you how it works so you guys should be able to see the ball but here we go it's probably gonna be really loud Launches every eight seconds. And it launches at different like angles and stuff. So some might be low, some might be perfect or inside. Kind of down to the real game, that really found that off. Like Do not recommend dry firing this because there is a spring. What happens is spring goes down, one of the things go up to push the ball down, then it fires it. So every time you fire it and dry fire it, the spring gets weaker and then stuff like that will happen. So it holds eight balls as you saw, but sometimes it does not get a good fire and you have to like, it, it fires every eight seconds, which is helpful. So if like you miss a ball or it's a bad pitch, you can fix it. Where did that thing just go? Oh, well, where did that ball go? I don't know. I'll find it. But if you like, you have time to fix it, or like if you miss, you have time to run back, grab the ball, throw it in the net, and swing out again. So it holds eight balls. It is eighty dollars. I'm gonna keep going to see if it actually stops like dry fires on accident so yeah it's gonna be loud again probably like there bad pitch it hit the top and you just can't do anything about that you have to move on to that. Oh, 
This also works with pot flies. You can do pot flies on it. Yeah. So as you saw the first pitch, it kind of um like it fired, but it hit like the top here and it like didn't go very high. And that's gonna happen, but you just gotta roll with it. And the ones that I that happened like that and I couldn't get or I missed, um, or like the one that I fouled off that was right here, I, I had time to grab it. And put the ball in the net, get back here, get ready, and swing away again. Also, you can bunt on it, but nobody really likes to bunt, so I'll show you some bunting real quick. See, that one's super low. You can't do anything about that. Some of them like are too low, you literally cannot get. Or maybe I just suck at bunting. Like it's a little hard to bunt this because it's like a soft toss and you're kind of bunting it and it's not really in front of you. Like mine's to the side of me, so I actually have to like put it in that angle. But you can bump it, depending on where you put it. You can also do hot flies with it. If you put it high enough. Last one to bump it. Yeah. So, you can do pop flies, but I'm an outfielder. So that would help me, but if you're like um, a catcher, like I guess you could probably do it behind you. But, I don't know. But I think it's a very good product. I think it's definitely worth $8. Maybe not $80, but I'd say at least 60 It's a good product. I like it, and it's like a soft toss thing. And so I don't have to use a tee. But, yeah, so that is my review on the Skills Catapult. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.